2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Always a team that makes a flashy entrance when they're on the road. Now we'll see if they can back it up on the court. The tallest building. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for him. And one thing that has been very consistent for him the last few years, his ability to continue to deliver more and more offense. He's been doing everything that's been asked of him. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got Wilson. Get out there with Miracle Man. And it's Cowboy. And it's the Monster in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Pacers, Nowitzki is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Derrick Rose. Then it's O'Neal. And it's Kobe in at the two spot. And really the defense fouling there to, to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. First free throw is good. And it should be a good one tonight, Steve. Two teams in the playoff conversation. This is where, Kevin, we see the talent is there on both sides. Also now, this is where coaching can make the difference, putting players in position to come out on top. Misses, and he wants that one back. Passes to Miracle Man. And that one, good. Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. Anzo Bryant will bring it up for the Pacers. Four-point game. The putback. It's good on the putback. And those second-chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Here's Miracle Man. Plays it up and banks it in. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Here's Rose. It's tipped. A second chance effort. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. For Indiana, they've gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. It's Bryant, high post. Leonard's there. They get it again. And the shot is good from Nowitzki. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to. Be there all night long. They get a hand on it. The monster passes to Leonard. Here's the monster. Leonard on the wing. And finished off by Leonard. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Here's Kobe. Here's Nowitzki. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And that one drops for him. Gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. It's good. Six points for Miracle Man. Impressive start here. That's five straight makes to start the game. And they're pushing it up. Here's Wilson. Hammers it home to polish off the break. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Here's Kobe. Kept alive. Basket, good. Nowitzki's got his second basket of the night. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made... Whoa, oh, hammering oh, in! Time out, time out. Oh. And this sort of awesome... 
dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. So both teams making some changes here. And with most of the season in the books, the power rankings have really taken shape. You look at the Pacers. They're stuck in the same spot, still outside the top three. And you know right now for the visiting team, they've claimed the top spot because they've earned it. Some people say they're playing above their heads. I, I think we're just starting to realize how good this team is. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in, trying to get open is Shaq. A, a real struggle to shoot the ball in that first quarter. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Boy, that was quick. Already out to a double-digit lead. This has been a beatdown right here. Possibly over before it began. Here's Bryant. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. What's up? It took him a while, but he finally gets one to fall. First trip to the free-throw line for him tonight. Gone eight of eight. What a hot start for them. On the inbound, he takes it up and lays it in. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Or the pass to Nowitzki. And Cowboy is going to pick up the... Foul. That is his first foul of the game. Cartwright's checked in for the Pacers. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Lock at six. Up again and staying with the play, Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got six. Nowitzki's gone three for four here from the field. Here's Gary, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. To the middle, here's Cartwright, and he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely, at least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. Shoots the three. Here's Nowitzki. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. It's been their Achilles heel defensively. They just have not been able to control that backboard. Of the two offenses here tonight, you can tell theirs is just a bit more in sync. They've had better patience, better shot selection so far, but we still have a long way to go. Here's Ward. Nice move. And the layup is good. I mean, if the defender is going to play off like that, then you know what's going to happen. There are going to be points put on the board. And just tax a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Pacers trail by nine. Pass to Kirk. 35 seconds left in the first. They get it back. The Pacers have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And he knocks down the first one. And he makes the first but misses the second. Here's Rain Man. Oh, wow. Wow. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. And that one, good. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Fires the three. Rebounded by Elliott. Here is Cartwright from deep. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's the visiting team holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. Right back after this break.
And it's good to have you back with us as we celebrate St. Patrick's Day with more NBA action on 2K Sports. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? In that first period, they nabbing another steal. All year long, that's been his thing, just pouncing on any chance to grab a steal. Well, GA with that swipe, he's now tied for third for most steals in a single season. Here's Jukic. Rebound by Tyler. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Wilson, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Well, and he breaks out the tomahawk. No soft finish there. Pure power. Now we could feel that one all the way over here. <laughs> to the inside. And it's blocked. To the paint, here's Leonard. It's rebounded by Indiana. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. And midway through the season, some players going above and beyond. And Steve, is that contract year boost time a minute, time out. or is it a real thing? Hey, Kevin, Sorry. it is a real thing. You see guys more focused. You see guys that's usually not on time, on time. On that contract year, you see guys on their best behavior, and you see some of their best play on the court overall. And the Pacers with possession here. They trail by 14. Here's Ward. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Out of bounds, Indiana takes possession. And the voting for the dunk contest is just about over. So let's bring up the leading contenders for you. Boy, with the players on this list, you know this year's contest is going to be a fun one. It is. And with their places in the contest almost wrapped up, uh, I'm sure these guys are working on their moves already. You look at the monster. His athleticism is off the charts. And it doesn't go unnoticed, as you can see, by how high he... Oh, oh. did you see that? Oh, reversed at home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. The pass to Leonard. Sinks that one from the post. Leonard's got his first points of the game. This is what Leonard gives you. Reliable, productive, turns out positive plays. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow. It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Leonard's got his second basket of the game. Nice pass by Derrick Rose. Spotting a wide open guy from the corner of his eye. And the first one drops. And so he hits both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Pacers trail by 16. Charity swipe shot, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Just another day at the office. D. Rose knows when and where to get his points. The dish to Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. And so it's Rose bringing it up for the Indiana Pacers. It's a 14-point game. Yeah, and last year it didn't matter whether it was on the home or on the road. They failed to take a game from either of the two meetings. They They 
really dominated them on both sides of the ball. We'll see if they have their number again this year. And he makes the first. Leonard hits them both. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. A three from Leonard. It's the three-point pop. Leonard's got nine points. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. Here's Ward. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Kawhi has all the physical gifts, and the one thing I love, he really can pass. Oh, that's straight TNT, baby. Uh, Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. Pass to O'Neal. And he could not get... That one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low number. The Pacers making a switch here. Hartwright's checked in. Gone seven of nine, and their field goal attempts here in the second quarter. Pretty good offense. Count it. He has six. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Pacers trail by 14. Now here's Leonard. 14 points from him the last game against New York. It was never all about himself. He came away with a lot of assists in that game and just kind of kept everybody in the mix. Here's ABC. He can't hit that time. And Indiana will go the other way with it. To the inside. The kick out to Rose. Passes it to Bryant. And again, it's Indiana. That's just a solid execution to get a wide open look. Down low. Leonard with the steal. Left side, Bryant. And again, it's Indiana. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets gone 8 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Really flowing here. The Professor, nice fake, but the layup off the mark. And the Professor picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Indiana trailing here. Pass to Elliott. Outside, Kobe. Off target from three-point range. The pass to Thunder tries from 16. It's rebounded by Indiana. Nowitzki's got six rebounds in the game. 27 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Clearly a foul. The Pacers shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. The first free throw is good. Both free throws good from Nowitzki. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to get to the line. 17 seconds left in the first half of basketball. With one on the clock, it's deflected, and so it's the visiting team. With a six-point lead at the end of the quarter, they're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Kawhi, a big first half for you all offensively, but big first half for them, too. Any concern there? Uh, they're still scoring pretty good, so we got to play better. Thank you, David, and we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, what's your viewpoint? Well, they should have a lot of room on the perimeter in the second half because they have already have a lot of points in the paint. And the deep... And that.
And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Pacers trail by six. They've got Nowitzki. Rose is out there with Bryant. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Shaq in at the five. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Here's Rain Man. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Greg, if you're a small market team, how do you convince stars? that you've drafted and developed to stay and resign? It's a great question, Kevin. I actually think in a lot of ways it's easier today because you can be box office. You can be a, a superstar in a small market and have the name recognition because of the era we, we play in. And so I think the biggest way to keep them there is to build a championship caliber team around them. I think that is... your saving grace. If you can prove to them that you can build a championship caliber team, I, I don't really think that there is a reason to want to leave. It's a solid blueprint. Here's Rose. Novitsky kicks to Leonard. Dishes at the Rose. Fires from deep. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Rose. Rose has got five assists tonight. Well, why would the three showing he's able to stretch the floor more and more? Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Got a hand on it, and they're able to recover. Gone three of three from the field since halftime. Bills in the pass to Leonard. And it's sent back by O'Neal. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. Here's Miracle Man. A three-pointer off the mark. Tough to hit that shot when the D is all over you like that. Here's Kobe. And Kobe throws it down hard. Great player movement. Great ball movement. That's fun to watch. Here's Miracle Man. Oh! He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go. Baby, it is showtime. And the kid picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that worked the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. Here's Rose. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Elbow shot. Rebound by Tyler. Gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Here's Leonard and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And I like that he's staying aggressive. One of the NBA's most consistent scorers. Kawhi's been doing it all tonight. All the officials are all over that one. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. Leonard with the ball. He's got 14. And the foul goes on the magician. That's his first foul. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. And to get open is Nowitzki. And again, it's Indiana. 
And O'Neal, just a brute on the block, simply overpowers the opposition. You could see he was setting that up the minute he got his hands <laughs> on the ball. Well, you, you got to know what you're doing if you're going to do it, if you're going to try that, right? Oh, wow. I'm sure plenty of practice hours went into it, and that has this time team out, time out. fired. Up. And the Pacers call time here. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Cartwright's checked in for O'Neal. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. Comfortable inside, plus the seven foot three wingspan. Hard to stop Kawhi without fouling. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. Gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. A nice shot by Tyler. The defense late to react. A beautiful play we just saw. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Here's Jukic. No good there. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Pass to Leonard. That's tipped. They recover it. Watch it again. And so it looks like the pace. will retain possession here and so now a timeout called by Jason Kidd <laughs> 157 left to play in the third but they'll get another chance gone 8 of 10 shooting here in the second half very strong a finish throws down the breakaway jam. You see, that is just rude. Kawhi picks it, triggers the fast break. See ya. Inside, Tyler. That one, no good. Great D that time from Leonard. Passes it to Ward. 17-foot shot on the way. That one off the back iron and out. Pass to Thunder. Here's Rain Man to the wing right side. Here's Tyler. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Here's Ward. He's got six. He gets that one. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Power down with both hands. Super work on the boards. Boy, they really want to put their foot down on them now. Yeah, and once you got him on the ropes, Greg just keeps swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. Thunder passes to Money. Offline with his three. Pacers trail by 11. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. down the first one and if they continue Kevin their outstanding free throw shooting that'll help them seal the deal both good from the line that time their usual strong work at the line has been on display here tonight but then again they almost never have an off night at the strike there's 18 seconds left to play in the third outside Rose 
high, arcing shot. He lays it in. Derrick Rose, explosive getting into the paint. But when he gets there, he has a soft touch as well. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. And so it's the visiting team. 13 points up at the end of the period. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented, as always, by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. The professor out there with ABC. Then it's the kid. Then there's the miracle man. And it's Wilson in at the three. Here's Rose. It's deflected. They get it back. Really left alone that time. Three has been out of this world. 74% from the field. Up and in on the layup. 20 points for miracle man. You know, Greg, we know there's some power finishers in the NBA like Giannis Antetokounmpo, but he complains a lot that he needs to sell contact rather than muscle through it. How do you evaluate those kind of power finishers in the game? Well, I mean, they're still power will always play a role, especially when you can add in quickness and athleticism. And I think you start right there with Giannis. I mean, he's kind of epitomizes that. LeBron obviously is still in that category. And a guy like Kawhi Leonard, uh, he can send you into the stanchion when he gets going downhill as well. He almost got too much air on that one. Yeah, the man can fly. What a show. Never underestimate the creativity of these guys. They've turned dunking into an art form. Nowitzki dishes the rose. It's tipped. And here comes Leonard leading the fast break. Here's the professor. O'Neal with the defensive effort. And the professor picks up the foul. his fifth foul. And coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. And we've got time an update out, here, out. so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the side. Headline. Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to listen in on what Jason Kidd was talking about with his players. His demeanor was not one of the coaches' team was well ahead he said this is the time to turn up the heat make one final push and try to close out strong Let's see if they were listening guys the visitors on defense Kobe that's for two Indiana again missing and I was sure that was money on that one but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two yes let's look on the bright side you got a great look it's a play that you might want to go back to again just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth the teardrop but they recover and the dunk by O'Neal gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth though very nice efficiency there that is not possible what we just <laughs> is, is that possible uh, I think it is Greg not probable but like possible like you said and the kid picks up the foul that's his third foul of the game Leonard he's checked in for the Pacers Quarter of play, about two minutes in now. To the middle. 
here's Kobe, and it's sent back by Leonard. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow. It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee. Savitsky finds Leonard. Second chance shot, and it's good on the way in. Leonard's got nine points now in just the second half. Yes, second chance points again. A huge problem for this team. That one goes. Count it. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Now here's Rose. Defense is right there. Outside Leonard. Count the basket. Leonard's got 20 points. Pushing the action. Always working for the best shot. Nice drive by Kawhi. I tell you what, he's showing some real courage going to the reverse in that situation. You know, I, I don't think he knows you're not supposed to do that in traffic. <laughs> King shot on the way. They get it back. Nowitzki fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And, you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. It's blocked by Shaq. And they'll keep possession. Rob puts up a three. Wilson the pass to Miracle Man. And he jams it with authority. Oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Uh, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Your son, Cole Gregg, was one of the top high school players in America. A lot of services had him number one. Talk about what it was like going through the recruiting process as a dad. You know, it was it was fun for the most part because he really kind of kept everything in perspective. teams we dealt with the schools we dealt with man they were all top-notch so that process about as enjoyable as one could ask for but at the same time it's still stressful man that's still your little guy getting ready to head off to college well you're a dad and a proud one at that and they go to the intentional foul oh, oh no he's the last guy you want to put on the line you can just about book the points every time he steps up there and as he gets older, we, we've seen Derrick Rose coming out of his shell a bit more. Early in his career, he was wary of strangers and the media. And growing up, Derrick Rose protected by his family from the dangers of Chicago. Then, Greg, after starring at the uh, University of Memphis, he was drafted by his hometown bull. Anointed a savior from day one. And you talk about a life under the microscope. Sports writers picking him apart, rabbit fans wanting a piece. In a lot of ways, it's probably better for him not playing in Chicago. Anzo Bryant will bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. They trail by 18. And he makes the first. Both free throws good for Bryant. Being 71% all in all in this one, they've been brilliant offensively. It's hauled in by Nowitzki. Indiana's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. And that's an intentional foul. That's good from O'Neal. Good on both. Doing it brilliantly here lately. 60% from the field. Oh! oh. And he goes in for the dunk. And, guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skill to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yeah. that's for sure. First free throw is good. Explosiveness by Derrick Rose is one of the reasons why a lot of guys do not want to guard him. Rose hits them both. One fifty-seven left to play here in the fourth. Pacers trail by 14, and now they decide to foul intentionally. The first free throw is good. 
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here and not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups, sure, but it's been a nonstop parade to the foul line. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game, Miracle Man. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. And the first one drops. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 146 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a back seat for that dunk. Wow. It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Free throw drops for Rose. At the line for your Pacers. And Rose drops them both. Here's Miracle Man, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. That one on Rose. First one falls for him. So he gets them both. One forty-one left in the fourth quarter, and they go to the intentional foul. Shooting for Indiana, Derek Rose. The first one falls. He hits both from the strike. Being an unreal 70% from the field, making a mockery of this defense. Pacers trail by 12, and he commits the intentional foul. That one falls for Bryant. Both shots good from the strike. 131 left in the game. Here's Miracle Man. Rose with the block. And the Miracle Man is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Rose hits them both. Miracle Man, the pass to the monster. Now, here's Wilson. Here's Miracle Man. He's covered by Rose. Here's Miracle Man. Look at that. Oh, nice. And he dunks it down. My goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg. Into his bag of tricks there. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. And Rose drops them both. So it's the visitors now. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. A nice shot by Tyler. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. And Rose drops them both. Doing extremely well here lately. Around 61% in the fourth. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow. It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee. And both free throws, good for Rose. 102 left in the fourth quarter. Miracle Man. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 
shooting 70% from the floor. Truly incredible work from this offense tonight. Yeah, they suck the energy out of this arena. Tremendous effort on the road. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach... was the difference. Yeah, and, and luckily, they, they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. Thunders checked in for Bogdanovich. 54 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's ABC, guarded by O'Neal. O'Neal with the rebound. And it's the Pacers' ball. Point. And Cowboy is going to pick up the foul. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. The professors checked in for Tyler. And so now a timeout called by Jason Kidd. Timeout call. Two shots. Two and the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. He's able to hit the second one, and that narrows the gap to seven. They needed more from him there. Any point they can get is absolutely critical for them right now. Yet another bucket in close. That's how he's earning his points today. Timeout called the Pacers. They trail by nine. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? I mean, it's iffy that there's enough time to even get a quick shot and a foul. There's 39 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Drills it from outside. I will put him in the category as a clutch player. Derrick Rose delivers again. They double him with Sharich. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And so it's Indiana with it. The pass to Arnold. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Good! And now they trail by just four. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. And so they foul intentionally. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. Good job. Want to keep fueling that lead. Make your free throws. Timeout called the Pacers. They're down by six. 24 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And the Pacers with possession here. Good. And now they trail by just four. So good off the dribble. This time, Derek shows his effectiveness off the ball. He had to foul, and on that occasion, to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth, and the perfect. picks up the foul and so he's picked up his final foul and he will sit for the rest of this game he hits the first one and that brings them within five and that's good as he hits both of his shots and the foul on Derek Rose and so he's picked up his final foul will sit for the rest of this game obviously upset to have to take a seat here but at this point I don't think it'll have an impact the game's probably out of reach anyway and so he drops them both it's a six-point ball game 19 seconds left in the game and now we've got the intentional foul so the first one drops and that brings them within five and both free throws good for Cartwright and now they foul and stop the clock. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Gets the first, and that puts them up by five. 
And so both free throws are good. And it's a six-point ball game. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul right there. Good on the first, and that brings them within five. And both free throws good for Cartwright. 16 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Those free throws are the nail in the coffin, guys. And now we've got the intentional foul. So the first one drops, and that brings them within five. And both free throws good for Cartwright. We've got 13 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. And that's an intentional foul. First free throw is good, and that brings them within five. And both free throws good for Cartwright. Here's Miracle Man, and they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. Gets the first, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. There's 10 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And so they foul intentionally. First free throw is good, and that brings them within five. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He drops the first one, and that brings them within five. And both free throws good for Cartwright. The visitors with the ball. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And both free throws good for Cartwright. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. And so both free throws are good. And it's a six-point ball game. And the Pacers with possession here. And they go to the intentional foul. So the first one drops, and that brings them within five. Good on both. Here's Miracle Man. And that one is hammered home. Oh, that's an old-fashioned rim rattle. Uh, just a remarkable jam. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. And so the road team gets the W in this one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up.